All right, hey folks, everything new under the sun. World War Three update. Incredible, incredible stuff is going on. Boy, I would not wait, want to be in Europe. They are effectively in a pre-war state. They are getting ready on all sides. Um, the governments are getting ready uh, for war. They are telling their citizens about it. Uh, and it's it's an incredible thing to behold. You know, it's, it's like we are in a time before the declaration of World War II when everybody knows it's coming. Um, but uh, no one is really paying attention uh, either at the same time. Uh, mainstream media isn't talking much about it. Uh, and uh, no one in the West is really getting prepared. This uh, here, this is LifeSite News. Germany plans to expand number of bunkers, bomb shelters as Russia-Ukraine war escalates. Can you imagine if the United States or Canada uh, from the government level said, you know what, let's start building bomb shelters. Can you imagine uh, the panic that it would set in here? The realization that, oops, war is actually real and on our doorstep. This is what they're going through in in Europe. It's an incredible thing. And uh, honestly, I don't know why there aren't more Europeans doing videos about it. Maybe there are. Uh, I'm just not seeing them. But it's, it's incredible. The daily news uh, about about this stuff. Globalist gopher broke. Plan to trigger World War III moves forward. And it, it looks like the Biden administration is uh, doing everything they can to... Um, cause Trump a lot of uh, trouble and get him into a place where he can't uh, bring peace. Now, I don't know if Trump is actually going to bring peace. He said he could create peace on day one. Um, is he uh, in with everybody else uh, and uh, the war machine is proceeding and, and Canadian prepper uh, suggests that, you know what, uh, uh, Trump at the end of the day, you know, the foreign, um, the foreign affairs isn't going to change. And, uh, you know, Trump's not going to actually stop that war. I guess we'll find out. Um, uh, I, I hold out hope that um, he will bring peace uh, and he will start talking to leaders again. Um, but certainly looks like the Biden administration, whoever is managing it right now, is pushing ahead. And uh, with uh, the further strikes deep into Russia, Ru Russia is now um, threatening Kiev with hypersonic missiles. Um, and uh, let's go to this one here. This is... Uh, zero Hedge, Putin threatens Ukrainian capital with new hypersonic missile. Another day, another record-setting Russian missile and drone attack on Ukraine. At a moment, the West is escalating its support to Kiev. Uh, you know, they're doing everything they can to get money in there and weapons in there and uh, getting weapons further into uh, Russian uh, mainland, you know, uh, destroying things as quickly as they can before Trump comes into power. Interesting escalation, by the way, before Trump gets in there. And maybe it's to Trump's advantage. Maybe he can... Uh, Maybe it needs to be at a high uh, fever pitch um, to where Trump can come in and say, okay, you know what, uh, I'm the savior, I'm going to stop everything and stop war, so we'll see. Putin announced uh, to security officials at a collective security treaty organization summit in Kazakhstan, uh, Kazakhstan that 100 drones, 90 missiles were launched at Ukraine over the last 48 hours in response to deep strikes in Russia. And this is what the United States and uh, European countries even are pushing. Again, meanwhile, Germany is uh, saying that they're going to start building bunkers. Uh, as they are pushing war, they are starting to build uh, bunkers, and nations are go are starting to say, we need to go to a wartime economy. Uh, again, which is incredible, um, that we, as citizens of the world, are marching to World War III. Our governments are telling us this, and nobody's saying, well, you know, where are all the anti-war activists right now? It's incredible. Oh, and by the way, uh, Denmark was hit by a whole country mobile outage and trains halted there. This is kind of the problem with technology, with using cell phones for everything uh, from 2F, two-factor authentication to buying for goods and uh, paying for goods and services to requiring it, you know, for everyday life and kind of depending on it. Like people don't even know how to use a paper map anymore, nor if, and that's even if you can get a paper map. And it says, while Americans celebrate Thanksgiving by chowing down on turkey and mashed potatoes, Denmark has experienced a widespread telecommunications outage. Are you, by the way, ready for a telecommunications outage? You should have FRS radios. You should have GMRS radios. You should have any sort of walkie-talkie. You should have ham radios, uh, you know, bow fangs, uh, cheap. Get something. <clears throat> Get scanners. See what happened in Hurricane Helene as people were left without cell phones for days and even weeks. And uh, one of the most important things to have was actually just a basic analog scanner, not even a digital scanner or something that could decrypt encrypted signals. Uh, it's the most uh, useful thing for a lot of people is just a plain old-fashioned Radio Shack analog 
voice scanner uh, where you could kind of listen to what what people are doing what people are saying what uh, where emergency uh, resources are where food may be if someone's broadcasting oh you know this grocery store is open at this point in time um, and uh, you know uh, finding news out that way that was one of the most uh, handy things to have a scanner so you could listen and then on top of that to be able to hand out FRS radios to your neighbors um, you know and, and uh, tell them that, you know have a uh, a daily uh, group chat or something on there to say you know I need this do you have that um, or would be very handy and that's what came in handy uh, in the disaster uh, that came into um, what was it North Carolina I guess um, uh, as it relates to Hurricane Helene and so that's a critical critical thing um, do you have communications communications are going to be one of the biggest things and that's also one of the things that the government's going to control the most when World War three starts by the way with propaganda on uh, government approved uh, television stations and radio stations um, so you at least need to hear what the government is saying that is important you need to hear it even if it's uh, fake news um, you need to listen to all sources because you don't know what the truth is and you won't know what the truth is until you kind of listen to both sides and listen to all the information and then do what you need to do after that but this is why mobile outage, telecommunications halted, a cyber attack, or was it you know a fat finger by some tech, uh, which is what happened in Canada last time. Uh, I think it was Rogers uh, telecommunications went down nationwide. It was uh, oops, uh, you know a, a software update. Uh, oops, a uh, fat finger on a keyboard. Um, you know, meanwhile the government's not going to tell us that it, you know it was potential hacking, potential sabotage. Uh, by the way, uh, a Chinese ship sabotaged a telecommunications uh, fiber optic cable um, over in, in Europe there, uh, and of course it looks like the United States took out Nord Stream. So this is happening. This is happening real time. We are living this out, uh, and we, it's just everyday news for us. So it doesn't surprise us. Um, but you, you have to kind of get past that uh, uh, normalization of all this stuff and realize this is unprecedented stuff. You need to get ready now because when it goes down, there will be no supply chain. Not in North America, nor anything coming from on ships from China because they will cut off all goods and services. And that's why you need to go. I did the previous video about uh, the Makitas. Uh, but if you're looking to get any tools, any electronics, um, any components to repair electronics, uh, now would be the time to do that because that's going to be stuff that's coming from China that you cannot get locally, is not produced locally, and uh, so it's going to be key to get that. So be prepared. I keep saying be prepared. We don't know when this thing goes down. We don't. They didn't know when uh, uh, World War Three, uh, World War Two started. They didn't know exactly when World War One would start. Nobody knows exactly what's going to kick off these things, and what the what the time limit is, and that's why you need to be prepared now in advance same thing with the coming of uh, the second coming of the lord jesus christ you need to be prepared in your heart and your mind now yet you need to accept lord jesus now because when the tribulation does start uh it's going to be even harder uh to get saved at that point just likewise uh, when it comes to getting goods and services it's going to be twice three four ten times as hard to get uh what you need even if that's if even if it's as simple as a shovel because everybody will covet that when things go sideways because they'll try they'll be trying to build their own gardens and and doing whatever else so anyways i'll leave it there guys thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video